the Star Wars Rebels suck? And more importantly, what could make it better? Hello Star Wars fans! This video is very difficult for me, and has been something that I've been avoiding for many months since I've started reviewing Rebels. I've seen many comments talking about how Rebels is not as good as the Clone Wars, and how it really just kind of sucks. I ignored these comments for a while, but I thought it's finally time to address them head on. That being said, if you love Rebels, that's great, I'm glad. And if you don't like Rebels at all, this video is made especially for you. One thing that has concerned me about Rebels in the current season is the lack of a grand plot. Sure, our Rebels are trying to find a base and everything, but they jump forward in time such that none of the actual stories connect to one another. They're just loosely interwoven without any real idea of where we're going. There doesn't seem to be a greater story of what's going on in the Star Wars universe at this time. Currently, the entire series of Rebels feels like a book that kind of skips over pages. We started the season with an episode about the Siege of Lothal and Vader. Then we go to two episodes about Rex, Wolf, and Gregor. Throw in an episode about the Inquisitors. And then one about Hondo Onaka. Throw in an episode with Leia. And one about the Mandalorians. And one episode is about whales in space. Obviously I skipped some episodes, but you get the point. I have no idea how all these episodes connect to the greater plot of what's happening with the Rebellion. And I don't even think that they really do. In reality, within these episodes, nothing really happens. The galaxy is still tightly controlled by the Empire. Lothal is still enslaved. And except for Rex's addition, there's nothing new from this season. You could even rearrange the episode's order, with little to no effect on the progression of the story. That's not good. But there's an even greater problem with the characters in general. All the characters are kind of flat and a little bit boring. In season two of Rebels, we have four episodes devoted to the backstories of characters. Hera, Ezra, Sabine, and Zeb. The episodes of Homecoming, Legacy, Legends of the Lasat, and The Protector of Concord Dawn. These episodes are basically all the same. A vaguely defined mission for the Rebellion goes wrong because of the addition of a new character from our hero's past. Our rebels feel the necessity to help the character from their past. It is then that this character from their past talks about the hero and reveals some vague details about their life and the adventures that they once had in the past. Do you see what I mean? They're all basically the same episode. Instead of showing us who our hero is through their actions, Rebels uses stories and talks about the great things that our heroes did in the past without actually showing us it. And these histories, these great adventures that our heroes went on, we will never get to see. A greater issue still comes with the fact of the stakes at which the story is at. Rebels is set during the most difficult time to write Star Wars canon. As viewers, we know what is coming. The Death Star is going to be built, Vader will not die, Luke will be a Jedi and destroy the Death Star, and the Rebellion will be formed and defeat the Empire, eventually. All of these events are set in stone, they're definite. This leaves little for our Rebels to actually do to affect the greater plot and story of Star Wars. In fact, you could say that Rebels has made itself a more direct prequel to the events of A New Hope. And we all know how much everybody loves prequels. The thing that The Clone Wars did beautifully was the way that it showed us new things that we had never seen before within the Star Wars universe, and showed us some of the history and mythos that even the movies did not show us. Whereas Rebels is trying so hard to recreate the original trilogy that the show forgets the spirit of those movies. The original trilogy was amazing because it was familiar to us and also unlike anything we had seen before. Rebels cannot copy the original trilogy. It must take what was in those movies and build upon it and even do something new within that. Currently, Rebels' greatest excitement is bringing back older characters into this show. To prove this to you, here are the top viewed videos from myself and my good friend and fellow YouTuber, Dash Star. You'll notice that the most popular videos on our channels are all theories about established characters who are returning or could return to Rebels. This is not a way to establish a show for permanence. You cannot build a show just based off of things that have already happened. With that, it's time to talk about what will make Rebels better. Star Wars is in essence a story about war. During the time of Rebels, the Galactic Civil War is just beginning, yet we do not see any of it. For a Star Wars show, 
There is no war. Show us the planets resisting the Empire. Show us stormtroopers in action, in battle. Show us what the Empire is like during its prime. Show us the effect of growing up during a war and never seeing it end. If Rebels shows us the war, there's plenty of time to expand the characters and expand the canon. Bringing back the old characters is fine. We love it. But develop the characters that you have. Develop the things that are new about your show. Raise the stakes. Put our Rebels, our heroes, at the edge of death against insurmountable odds. This is what Star Wars is and what Rebels needs to be. If you agree with me, then share this video. And I'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments. And as always, may the Force be with you.